Welcome to Lund. We have come to this city in the south of Sweden for a big day out. Hey. So let's start the show. Unusually for one of our episodes, the sun has actually come oh out Well, we've just got here. It's normally when we leave somewhere. Um, we're having a bit of a overcast day, it has been so far. And it's been raining earlier this morning as well. But now it is a little bit sunny, but rain is on the agenda it's later on today. Best. So we've got a few hours to explore this city before the rain starts tumbling down. And the first thing that I notice behind us here is these tracks. And it looks as though it must be a tram. You see something? I don't know because people are waiting. Yes, people are waiting on the platform. And it's the end of the line here. And it just goes into a footpath. But I've never sort of seen anything quite like this before. So maybe we'll get to see the tram when it arrives. I think I see it coming. I oh. think it is the one. Oh, there it is. Green. Do you know what? From a distance, it looks like the same ones that we have in Nottingham. Wouldn't that be funny? Maybe it is. <laughs> So it seems to be that people validate their card or ticket when they get on board. And off it goes again. Well, as we let the tram go on its way, I've spotted a few things in this little area, which is basically, it's just outside the railway station that we came out of over there. Look at this, Paul. Is this like a bandstand or something? Like a little mini one? There's, there's, like, there's like two seats sitting here. There's like a, a children's chair over there. Oh, it's, is it for kiddies, perhaps? No, but what? People like to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> oh, r oh like right. Cigarette. Oh, it's the butt of all jokes, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to go in just to see. Yeah. And it looks as though that someone has maybe left a bicycle there. Um, that looks like a bicycle lock. But there's more than one of them. There's like another one over here. And this one's got like a little, a table with a sieve and stuff. What is this? Do you think people like cook something in here? Look, I don't really know what it is. And this, what is this thing going round and round and round? Very, very curious. <laughs> Any idea, Paul, what this might be and what's in this one? Each one's different. This one's got like little, I don't know if those are little seats or what they are. It's very, very bizarre, but quite nice. What's this, Paul? Is it a giant foot? These look like toes. Well, they, they look like my toes because they're kind of crooked, look. Especially this one. Well, there's five of them, and there's a big one and a small one. So, to me, it looks like a, some sort of... Yeah, it's abstract art, but I think it's based on a foot. And, as always with these things, you should always look at the other side, because you never know what you might find. And there is a plaque. It's flat, actually, on this side, look. And quite smooth as well. If you can translate then that will tell you exactly what it is. And I find that these trees are very, very weird. How they're, they're all sticking up. Yeah. And you see them also on this side as well. So if you're crossing the road, you've got to look out for trams. Well, there's nothing here at the moment. So it's safe to go across. I spotted this before, Lolo and Auntie. It looks as though it's some sort of food truck. I don't know if it's open, the other side. 
no just the same maybe there's someone inside that'd be quite funny they've got their little logo down there as well and at the back oh yes you can see the hatch I think they must be bakers perhaps or maybe they sell sandwiches and burgers and something else who knows it's probably open at lunchtime I think that these people are setting up for one of their stalls to be sold. Like, I think that they're selling clothes and the other guy on the left, he's also selling books and knickknacks, I presume. I like this Alice in Wonderland themed tea room. There's Alice along with all her friends. The pussycat teapot. Another cat. There's the menu, all in Swedish. Look, more cats in there and rabbits as well. What do you see, Paul? I see some pussy cats. Oh, yeah. And then there's more like at the side. Flamingo. A flamingo? Oh, this is all part of Alice in Wonderland as well. Yeah. Look, do you remember that hotel we went to in London one time that had the Alice in Wonderland themed bar? Oh. All right. And they did um, uh, a Mad Hatter's tea party. Look, look at this. Can you actually play it? Do they move or are they just sitting there? They might be stuck. Do you want to have a go? Not really. <laughs> well, I'll have a go then. Look. See, they do move. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I can't play. I can't play. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't even know what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Can you play chess? Play? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but... Those are the pawns. I know, I know. I know you've got to protect the... You need to protect the... What, the kangers or something, is it? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Okay, I think that's it, that's enough. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, but well done. <laughs> we'll let you win. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> A tie. Yeah. <laughs> A tie. Well done. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh look, here's the bishop's arms again. Ah, we've seen a lot of these bishops' arms. It seems to be like it's a chain of of English pubs yeah, in I Sweden, think, which is yeah. a bit weird, isn't yeah. it? I think it's a cool. interesting you playing chess. Yes, checkmate, my dear. There we are, the bishops' arms. So this building that we're coming up to here, it looks as though it's been made to look as though uh -huh. it is centuries old. Right, but it's probably not. I think this side might be a little bit older. You've got like the red brick over here, but I'm not so sure. To me, it looks kind of fake. I think I'm just going to have to touch it to see if it's real, or is it just some sort of plastic covering? I don't think it's plastic. Is it real? Oh, it is. It is actually made of brick and wood. This is wood here. Yeah, would you believe it? Well, it's this white building, or creamy coloured building, Paul. Zoom in on your map and tell us what it is. There is a white flag flying up there. Ah, University House. So that must be the University flag up here. In fact, there is a sign, which will be in Swedish, of course. 
but it might give us uh, confirmation. Oh, you're right, look. It is the Lundegaard University host. The University House, right? Oh, it actually does have some English. Lundegaard is the historic university centre and a nice park to stroll in. The white building where you are standing is the university building from 1882. The university building was to be one of the foremost works of architect Helgo Zetterval and has remained the main university building since its inauguration. It was preceded by the King's House, the brick building you see in the park. This looks like a church over here, Paul. And there is a sign. Is it the cathedral, you think? Yeah, because it's located in the park, I believe. Well, this is a park. We've seen another park earlier on near the station. But I think we're in the university grounds at the minute. Well, this rather helpful sign has just explained where we've come from. Lundegaard is the park above the cathedral, as well as the historic university centre. Lundegaard was originally the Archbishop's stronghold and it was situated here in the park. So this rather fabulous building is indeed the cathedral. And the cathedral is being watched over by the Madonna.
Well, there's a lovely little water fountain outside the church. And if you're desperate to go to the toilet, like oh, we are at the moment, then doesn't this doesn't help. But there is good news because there is also a church forum and it says that it has got a WC. So I think that is our next port of call. Welcome to the Cathedral Forum. So there's information, coffee. We've had enough coffee today, I think, at our Take breakfast, a, a toilet and a, a buck handle. Oh, that's a bookshop. So let's hope the toilet is open. There's a lot of toilets actually. They're all little individual cubicles. And they are quite small, quite cozy. So step into this one with me. And you can see there is a mirror there. There's the sink. And there is the, the loo down there. But it is quite a tight fit. They're all little individual cubicles. I think this is a really great idea. It's okay. I know that you are all busy and haven't had time to subscribe to our channel. It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. But now's the chance. Hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge and it will help us on our way to over a thousand subscribers. So please subscribe. I'm not going to beg, but please. <laughs> The bells are tolling, Paul, and you picked up a couple of leaflets, didn't you? This one here, I like the look of this. It says, Runt Lund. Oh, Around Lund. What does it say? Places of interest around Lund, beyond the medieval city centre. Lund is also home to scenic expanses, magical beach groves, and vibrant rapesea fields in the spring combine city life with a charming excursion or a refreshing hike in Lund's stunning surroundings. Indeed. And the lovely signs as well. So we've come down into the city centre where the shops are now. We've just been in this bookshop and they had some really interesting postcards that I was looking at with cows on them. <laughs> and then the guy said, um, they're called Mama Moo. So is that a bit like Mama Mia? What's that you found, Paul? <laughs> this is the department store. Ah, what's it called? Achlands. Right, shall we go and take a look? Sure. Well, that was quite an interesting department store. What's interesting about it is, and maybe it's not that interesting, is that like a lot of places in Sweden now, it is cashless. So we bought some party balloons in the colours of the Swedish flag, yellow and blue, because I thought we might use those for an episode one time. And it came to 39 kroner, and I had the exact amount in change. <laughs> and they said, uh, no cash, it is only card here. So or take... swish. Yes, swish. Yeah. So to be honest, we did bring a little bit of cash with us to Sweden, but you don't really need it. However, I was able to pick up a free magazine in there as well, and it's got the Young Royals on the front, and it is a very popular program here in Sweden because of course it is set here. Paul, do you know what I've noticed a lot here? I've seen a lot of willies, haven't you? <laughs> We're outside one right now. Oh, I didn't even realize that that's what it was. Yeah, I think it's like a sort of convenience type store, isn't it? Mm. Well, I think we're just going to have to go into Willie's and find out. Just to prove a point again on the cash, if you're paying with cash in there, and we did, you have to line up at the one cashier. This is the one cashier that also sells the nicotine. Yes, and the lottery tickets. And it dispenses the coins in your change out of one of those little machines that you would get at uh, the amusement arcade, which is quite funny. Oh, another thing. You need to scan this for the barrier to open. Yes, to get out. So if you don't buy anything, what on earth do you do? But if you are using a debit card or a credit card, well, you can just go to one of the self-service machines and there are lots of them. Like about, like about 10. I do love post boxes when I go away. This one's yellow and we see quite a lot of yellow post boxes in various countries. In Slovenia, they were yellow. And of course, they're also yellow in Spain. 
so we can add Sweden to the list of yellow post boxes. Oh, look at this, they've got a Wayne's coffee. I remember seeing this before in Sweden, I think in Norway, and I'm sure there was one of these in High Street Kensington for a while, and then it closed down. Well, it's amazing the things you see, isn't it? Oh, look, I spotted a spec series right in this corner, right just here. There's a spec series. Yeah, but it's right next to Smart Eyes, look. What? So if you've got Smart Eyes, you better go to spec savers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're both equally just as good. You did say you wanted to go to an op shop while you're here. And yeah. look, we have a second-hand shop. I think I made a note of a few of them actually, but I think we'll just come as far as this, I think. It looks like quite a posh one. <laughs> From this, the outside anyway. This, this is Sweden, so maybe it is posh. Ah, right. Well, the second hand shop came up trumps because I was able to buy some Halloween lights. <laughs> it's got batteries in it as well, look. So they actually do light up. Oh, cool. And it was 15 kroner, which is, how much is that, Paul? 150 maybe. A bit less than that, about. Like about 110? Yeah, like about 110. But the interesting thing is, well, they did take cash and that was good because I was <laughs> able to use a lot of my coins. But I'd noticed that in my change before from the, from Willie's, um, that they'd given me a one kroner coin. But the last time that we were in Sweden, about 16 years ago, this was the one kroner. So oh. I thought, oh, is it the same thing or has this been discontinued or something? So I asked in the second hand shop and they said, oh, this is like really old. And I said, oh, it's you, you want to just keep it like a souvenir? And they said, oh, you should have it as a souvenir. <laughs> so if you've got any of, of this, this is no longer used. In fact, they changed all the coins and they changed all the notes several years ago. So let's just take you at this moment through some of the other notes that they have. Um, and as I say, it's probably right now. best. Yeah, it's probably best that you don't bring any cash with you to Sweden at all. Um, so there is a 500 bill, which I think I might even have one of them. Did it still here. Them? You had one, Paul. Oh, I've still got one. I've got one. Don't drop it. Yep. So 500, that is about 35 pounds. And then there's the 200. There's the 14. Yeah, there's also a 100 that we did have, but we used it. Uh, there's a 50. And then the smallest bill is a 20. And from that point, it goes down into coins and you've got a 10, a five, a two, and the one that I just showed you. But the best thing to have is plastic. Contactless. <laughs> yeah, contactless. <laughs> Paul, you've brought us into some sort of industrial car park. What is this? So after coming out of the other place, I noticed signs for this place. And it did say second hand. Oh, wow. So I think it's kind of like underground. Look at this, it's like a little sort of cubby. So let's uh, take a look. This is so interesting. I like the look of it. Well, in you go then. This is like the bric a brac place I used to go to in Port Stewart. What is that? Oh, yeah. I don't want to take too much footage here, but look, it's like an Aladdin's cave. Wow, this is just absolutely amazing. Look at these teacups. I think this must be clothes. It actually hasn't been opened. What have you got here? Well, the good news is cash is king in there and it's about the only place left in Sweden it is. And I'm always on the lookout for something for future quirky. episodes, something quirky. And where else are you going to buy an instant hobo set? Oh. So one size fits all, which is good for me and includes a hat and a cigar. Yeah, and the guy in there was quite funny. He says, and you need a whiskey with it as well. And I we say amen to that. that. Yes. <laughs>
I like the look of the cinema. Filmstaden. Looks very nice. I don't remember Sweden having this many bikes back when we came to visit back in the day. Oh, I think that there is a great amount and I think that they do kind of rival the Netherlands in that there's so many of them. Um, it isn't to the Amsterdam type of um, amount but there is a great amount and I think it is good to remain green and to remain sustainable so this is a good way to go about it so yeah this is quite interesting nice fruit market Paul all very very fresh and very local I'm presuming and I would say that if we were here at the weekend this is a weekday when we're filming it oh. would probably be a lot busier but there are still yeah several stalls there's flower stalls over here as well and there's probably vegetables as well and more of those trees that we saw when we arrived and it's a big open square this there's a coop or a co-op however they pronounce it another one of those convenience store type supermarket places oh and a nice building behind which might be the town hall or something, but it looks as though it's got restaurants in there now. Well, that is it from Lund. Yes, and before we go, for those of you that have liked this episode, please give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It won't cost you a thing and it will help us along our YouTube journey to reach a thousand subscribers. and. For those of you that want to leave a comment, please do so as well, and we will try to answer them as quickly as possible. And especially for those of you that are feeling extra generous, why not buy us a coffee? Oh, I was going to say that, but there's nothing else left to say except bye-bye, and we'll see you bye -bye. next time. Bye! bye.